Hmm. Well, so much for the big attic cleaning potion. This this formula didn't work at all. It's it's just as nasty as it ever was up here, and it's all covered. By, oh, hello! Nice to see you. Welcome to the Mask Fan Attic once again, Mask fans and Mask addicts. Uh, tonight's mask is uh, from the legendary Don Post Studios. It came out in the year 1998. And, well, I think it was a fantastically great uh, creature design and sculpture and all that, and yet it did not ever really become popular. It did not catch on in a big way with collectors. And what mask is it? Why, it's this guy, Swamp. Now, why did I say it silly like that? Well, because if you spell it like the word swamped with, uh, as in uh, swamped with work or swamped with offers or swamped with letters or whatever, uh, that would be swamp with ed on the end. Well, you won't find it that way online because the actual spelling of the name of the mask was swamp t with a t on the end, which just looks like the word swamp, s w a m p t, swamp with a t on the end, right? Yeah, he likes to have tea in the swamp. He says is why they called it that. Uh, anyway, Swamped here, designed and sculpted by none other than the legendary Steve Wang, one of the undisputed kings of creature design. Now, uh, Steve did a number of other masks for Don Post Studios around this same time, including ones with names like uh, Insecto and Malonian Alien and uh, Carnivore. Yeah, yeah, and uh, a couple of others. Yeah, he says there were a couple of others, but he says I should forget about that and go back to talking about him. All right, all right. Don't get your fins in a bunch. Anyway, swamped here. I think, again, beautiful, beautiful sculpture and design. Look at this, you know? Now, he's obviously sort of a uh, latter-day uh, variation on the old classic Creature from the Black Lagoon, one of the most popular monsters of all time. And really, the Creature from the Black Lagoon is so logically designed, so intelligently uh, designed, that it's hard to design any kind of aquatic monster without making it look kind of like the creature. So uh, kudos to Steve Wang for coming up with this guy who looks so little like the creature and yet immediately says uh, gill man or fish man or, or swamp monster, you know? And uh, you know everybody loves the creature from the Black Lagoon. He's kind of one of the most popular monsters of all time. So even if you have something that just looks a little like him, it's still pretty cool, you know? And I've always liked fish monsters, don't you? Don't you like fish monsters? What about you? Yeah, see, everyone likes, uh, likes fish monsters. Although I remember one time I was, uh, I was uh, speaking at um, a, uh, a high school before an audience of uh, teenage humans, and this one, one, uh, one of the girls wanted to ask me a question. I, yeah, and she, and, and she was kind of like, do people really ever find these old movies scary? You know, the old ones, like, like a creature from the lagoon or whatever. So it was kind of hard for me to explain to her that yes, people really did find those scary at one time. Um, admittedly, the creature is not a monster that ever gave me nightmares, but I'm sure kids uh, back in the 50s when those movies were made uh, we're scared of the creature, but I should have asked that girl what what she thinks is scary. I, di I didn't ask. See, I missed that opportunity. I should have asked. She probably would have been like, saw. I, I saw saw. I saw scary. Saw. I saw saw to to. I saw saw. That's probably what she would have said if she, okay. Back to the matter at hand. Swamp to here. Fantastic creature design. Only available for about three years, 1998 through 2000 and uh, unceremoniously uh, dumped from the line at that time. Oh, poor Swamped. And now I just got done saying what a wonderful sculpture and design and all that and kind of a, a new take on the creature and such. So why then was he not popular? I would have to say quality control because a lot of these uh, masks from this time period were made of latex that turned out to be uh, not very durable and long-lasting and a lot of them deteriorated and a lot of people had complaints about masks from this period rotting basically falling apart cracks forming and and just they would get sticky and goopy and nasty and the other four dwarves but uh they they, they just did last they just weren't made as of nice a stuff as some of the older uh, masks now that's okay if you're just going to wear it for halloween or 
you know, to a party or something like that, a costume party, that's okay if you, it only lasts a short time. But uh, collectors, you want something that's going to last a while and look good for years and years to come on their shelves. So today you don't see that many of these and you don't see that many in people's collections despite the beauty and, and um, sophistication and what I would call elegance of the design. I, I wish somebody would, uh, you know, find a master mold on this or something and come out with a really deluxe edition because Don Post never did a deluxe edition. They just did this one which was in the like $35 neighborhood Kind of a cheap neighborhood over there, by the way. Uh, $35 to $40 neighborhood. They never did a really deluxe collector high-end edition of this character. And uh, wish they had, because he's pretty sweet, you know? Uh, that's, that's about all I have to say about Old Swamped. So until next time, if you figure out the formula for attic cleaning potions, please let me know. Hmm?